Uh, one of the top priorities during the coronavirus outbreak has been getting supplies to where they're needed. Now on the Isle of Wight, they're using a new drone service to deliver to their only NHS hospital. Now have a look at this. It's an unmanned aircraft that has been brought into service four years earlier than was planned. So things like PPE can be sent around the island quickly. Duncan Kennedy has been keeping a very close eye on it. Mid-air, mid-solent, midway to the Isle of Wight to land vital hospital equipment. This is Britain's first drone medical supply service, delivering protective clothing in the COVID-19 crisis for the island's only NHS hospital. Called a Windracers Ultra, it's a massive autonomous aircraft that's remote controlled and with a cargo hold the size of an estate car boot. It's capable of carrying a, a very significant payload of a, a 100 kilos uh, for 1,000 kilometres. Um, and it's, uh, it's capable of flying at nearly 100 miles an hour, so it's relatively fast. And most importantly, it's cheap. The drone was originally designed to deliver food to remote areas of Africa. But Southampton University and a consortium of companies called Solon Transport have combined to adapt it to move supplies of PPE to the Isle of Wight at the request of the government. It needs a runway no longer than a football pitch to take off and land. And it's quick, taking only 10 minutes to fly over the Solent. It's fully safety tested, capable of flying in all weathers and with one engine or none. If both fail, it can glide to land or float on water. When it touches down on the island, its supplies are taken the short journey to St Mary's Hospital. In Britain, this is uh, the, the first of its type. We're the first people to have done a uh, flight beyond um, a visual line of sight and deliver medical facilities between hospitals. What we're trying to do is provide a really, really useful, timely service that can provide really fast transfer of urgent, time-sensitive goods. The drone wasn't supposed to be fully operational for another four years. It's been given special permission by the Civil Aviation Authority to get airborne. This is an incredible period for the Isle of Wight. Not only is it the test bed for the government's new COVID-19 smartphone app, but it's also the destination for this highly sophisticated drone. Two types of cutting edge technology set to work in this coronavirus crisis. The island's hovercraft and ferry services are still running, but on a reduced service. They'll continue to be used by the NHS to transport supplies and patients. But is the drone any match for a helicopter, which can also travel quickly to the island? The helicopter is very expensive, and actually we need to use a helicopter for saving life. Um, but the drone can back that up. The drone is, 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 is a workhorse. The COVID-19 story has driven invention, change and creativity. This drone combines all three to link mainland and island in a new air bridge of high-tech innovation. Duncan Kennedy, BBC News.